Pretty good slope right there. We'll go a little left and might come back to the right at the end or just go in the hole. Well, hello. Adrian Maronk. He needs to make a couple of putts. And that's a good start. Well done. Well, Scotty Scheffler has got to put up the little slope here at the second. The speed was off on the first hole, but pretty good right there. Oh, excellent, actually. A big, big confidence builder early on for him. Real problems for the defending champion there to Matthew Jordan, a chance to go two under at 16. How about it? Yeah. Think he's liking today? I think he's having any fun at all. There's a Deki Matsuyama now for Birdie. Trying to climb back to even par. Yeah. All right, so Deki. Now he gets his first birdie today. Sepp Straka. How about that day at the John Deere Classic a couple weeks ago? Wow, some of the best golf you've ever seen in your life. He's 11 under par through 14 holes on that Sunday. Wyndham Clark. Nicely done. It's the first birdie of today for the US Open champion, so he gets it under par. It's very rare you see him miss, miss them by that much. Nice roll from Tommy Fleetwood here. Oh, and they love it. That's exactly what I said. You know, they have a better birdie chance getting over that hump. Frenchman Antoine Rosner who won in Mauritius at the back end of last year. Counts for this season, though. Very nicely done. Matt Fitzpatrick. <laughs> He's going to grind. This hospitality unit will go mad if this knocks in. Just a touch of left to right. Down the hill for Fleetwood. He's due one of them. He's hit so many, so many good putts from mid-range. That was that was due. Uh, A trio of birdies when Tommy Fleetwood joins the lead at five under par. Fifteen foot away, but he just flush it straight at the hole. Abraham answer for a birdie two at six to get into red numbers. Hello. for a birdie. They're loving this. They really are loving this at the moment. We've seen some nice putts going in. We'll head up to the 18th screen so that Rosner came out to here. This is for birdie. This is for a round of 67. Why not? Why not? What an excellent round for man. And you talked about it before with Roy McIlroy. He doesn't really get credited with a great short game, but I think that's because his long game is so massively impressive, so that's what we love talking about. Excellent putt from Holmer. Found the front edge of the green at the ninth column, Morikawa. Tracking. Indeed, for John Rahm. Long birdie putt for Grillo. Had to play to this section of the green, didn't he, Tony, from that bad angle? Yeah, just absolutely nothing else he could do. Could not even think about going at the flag, but he could with that one. <laughs> wow, 66, five under and tied for the lead. What a putt. 
tens of thousands that are watching this match. Oh, oh, here comes an eruption. The tall, elegant figure of Nacho Elvira for a birdie at 13. Well done. Yeah, that's worth rejoicing about. One under. Brian Harmon to finish this round off with a birdie. I tell you what. I tell you what. South African, Oki Stradham for a birdie. A long one. Oh, what a way to finish a day. Hatton has his putt from the lower level. Has to go up diagonally, right to left. Most people have left it short. Took a little hop midway, but still dropped for Terrell Hatton. Three over par, trying to get to two. Could it be a rare birdie? Yes, it is. We got now for his birdie at the fourth should turn of it from the right. Beautifully hold. Wonderful putt. Or a very good chance. Good chance. <laughs> yeah. Harmon, yet another chance for birdie. He's been rolling it. He really rolled it so beautiful yesterday, and he continues today. And that's an excellent start. Back-to-back -back birdies by Harmon. Great, and they handle pressure extremely well. Even those guys you see at the Ryder Cup looking completely different. They've got different eyes, they've got a different feeling. Wonderful putt there. For Nakajima on the first. You won't see many birdies there. Playing alongside uh, Brian Harmon is Tristan Lawrence, who's already won twice this season. He's uh, getting it back after an early double. Yeah. Adds another. He returns to the red. Giddy up. Bjork on the way here at 14 for birdie at even par. Trying to change that. Some putts going in. Yeah, just your average four there for John Rahm. He's staying Rahm really, staying really patient. This is Min Woo Lee. Putting for birdie at 16. What a run he made at the players earlier this season on the PGA Tour. Had to be a great experience for him. It's, yeah, great putt there. Extremely talented. Back at one under par for his round, four under total. Over to the fourth with Matthew Jordan. Knows these greens well, knows it. Does he ever? Michael Stewart had a, a glittering amateur career. He won all of the events in Scotland. This for birdie. Go on. Yeah, it's great to see him doing well. Played a lot of junior golf with him as the cracking lad as well. So I'll we'll keep, keep watching him make some birdies. Well done, mate. It's Stenson putting for birdie on the fourth. Ah, oh, great putt. At the third, it's a slowish putt, especially at the end, just goes uphill a little bit. That's a cracking start there for him. Two under after the first three holes. Good tee shot for Matthew Jordan. Now for birdie to get to three under par. Yes! What a story! Fantastic smile. Long range at 13. The Austrian won his second PGA Tour event a couple weeks ago at the John Deere. 
with a fabulous 62 in the final round. A little excitement to the Open Championship with that long one, and he's in the conversation for the Ryder Cup as well. Won't do much this actually. A little bit left to right here. And the chair, and it is a first birdie for Tommy Fleetwood. We saw the tee shot for the Austrian Sepp Strzok at 17. Let's see if he can convert, get it to three under par. Tie for third. And he can. Back to one at Putnam. This is where he pretty much excels. He's not afraid to make pots and something like that. That's a good three after the tee shot. Oh, over there on the left. Well, well. We talk about bonus birdies. A couple of groups are hanging out with Harrington is Scott Stallings. Down that slope, break into the left, and maybe a little unconventional birdie at the fifth from 30 feet, but a birdie nonetheless. It'll work. Chance for Harrington here at the sixth. Tracking, never missing. For his birdie at the far 14th. And that's looking really good. Beautiful putt. Let's check out if there's going to be a little smile. Come on. Over at the eighth, Richie Ramsey for a birdie here. Trying to battle back to four over par. Had a nasty seven at the fourth today. And birdies at five and eight. Nice bounce back. Missed it very makeable. About eight footer at the fifth. Got a good preview off of Matthew Fitzpatrick's putt. Took advantage of that. Nice two. Par three today playing at 212 yards. There you go. That gets him into the red. Danny Willett at the 10th for a birdie. It'd be his second birdie of the day. That's a brave outfit for today, that. All white. You put it like that, though, it's a nice outfit to have on. I'm not sure that's going to be all white by the end of the day. <laughs> Lovely. See here if Ram can can follow him in for birdie. <laughs> Crowd are loving that. I see too many two balls make two twos there. So we go up to the first from the back edge of the green. It just held on for Antoine Rosner. Yeah, a little right to left breaker here for Rosner. There you go. There you go, leave the flag in, hit a little bit hard, middle of the flagstick, in it goes. That's a nice start. In it goes for Tom Kim. That's for a final birdie, like he did last night for Sammy Valamaki. Loves it. <laughs> Round of 70. Finishes under par today. Power, first power five of the golf course. The fifth here at Hoy Lake. And we find Victor Hovland for birdie. Yeah. There you go. One under for the day. One under for the tournament. 
Copland for birdie. Could he? Oh, yes, he can. Back to back now for Richard Bland. He's at minus three. It's Hoygaard for birdie on the third here. Dead centre as well. That's a cracking start. Yeah, a couple under for the first few holes. So back to the first with Cameron Young. About 40 feet of pure bliss. All it takes is one good shot. An average wet shot. Well, he's got some great round going, John Rahm. This is for another birdie. There you go. There you go. Five under par, tied for second. This is what he was looking for. And look at that scorecard. From JM on 16 for birdie. Playing with John Rahm. They're having fun down there right now. Hoygaard on seven here. Fighting for birdie. Has he got it? Yes. What a start this is from Hoygaard. First hole with a birdie here. Yes. I thought he played very well yesterday as well. He's looking good. Never anything else after the tee shot, was it? Only a big sister could get away with that. Well, we told you that uh, Alex Fitzpatrick was on a charge, and that was how he made birdie at 17. And when you have power, you can always dial it back. But you, if you don't, you, it's not there. And Lynx Golf is Dietrich putts for birdie at 16 to get to three under par. Wonderful putt from the Belgian. If you have the power, you, then, then all of a sudden on those long holes that might be narrow, you can take the iron out there, play a little safety shot. Tom Kim. Wow. He's been a refreshing addition to the game of golf. Beautifully hold. Really would have been expecting this for an eagle off that drive. But, 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 oh, how about that? Thank you for the line, Shubanka. To try to finish with a birdie on 18. Keep tracking, keep tracking. Six birdie of the day. Struck up for birdie at 10. We've seen this putt similar from Sharma. Has a little left to right to it. And that is the first birdie today for Austria's Sepp Strachan. Having dropped a shot at the fourth, he's back to four under. Playing with McElroy. This is Max Homer with uh, a birdie putt at the 17th. Very nice, that gets him under par today. Won the Open Championship, went on to win the PGA, hasn't won a major since, we all know. Harmon for birdie at 13. He's got Hello. another one. Hello. Do something a little bit different than maybe you've been doing this week to a certain extent to try to free something up. Yeah, maybe work on something that you'll use the rest of the season. Scotty Shepard with a what a start to his day. That stretch from uh, 11 through 14, dare say that will play its part later on. Come on, Dale, say this name proper in proper, proper South African. Chris John beside now knocks it in across the green for a birdie. Couldn't have picked a better time. Well done, Thomas. Up on the fourth, Perez for birdie. There you go, Victor. That's a nice one, and that's a good start. And Todd for a birdie at the second. Up that little slope, we'll go a little left to right towards the back of the green. Nice birdie. 
Feng in his fourth open, turned 38 yesterday. Lori Cantor here with a good chance for birdie on nine. A good tee shot. Oh, just, just drops it in the front edge. I like we say, Nick, doesn't matter how it goes in, right? The first bar three here at Royal Liverpool. Gets it. And what sort of face are we going to get from Terrell? Kept a pretty low profile coming into the week. A lot of people asking for advice. Didn't give too much away, nor does Patrick Cantlay usually. This for birdie at five. Nice work. Steady start. Long birdie putt here for McElroy. Oh. oh, oh, hello. Hello, Rory. Alex Fitzpatrick after two good shots in here. So hard to get it back to this pin. Long, long birdie putt. Speed is key. Speed is also line is key. <laughs> what a start <laughs> from the younger Fitzpatrick. The leaderboard shows us that the lead is six for Harmon or confirms it. Seb Strucker, meanwhile, playing with Fleetwood and he makes his first birdie today. Dropped a shot at the first, gets it back there at the third, so he's back where he started at five under. Another fabulous iron shot from Stracker. Can he convert it this time? Oh, wow. Sepp Stracker now at seven alongside Ron. Well, it's wonderful, isn't it? Back-to-back -back birdies for Brian Harmon. He's back where he started the day at 12 under par, and he is back to five in front. And to the 18th, and let's see if a Ricky Fowler can close out with a birdie. Yes, of course he can. Two in a row, 17 and 18 for the man who finished second to Rory McIlroy here back in 2014. Back in the winner's circle this season on the PGA Tour. The slump is over. Downhill, this one. Left to right for Harmon. About a foot on it for him. Go on. Go on. Get in the hole. Oh! Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant from Brian Harmon. Now, Birdie there takes him to 12 under. He's forges back in front. What a lovely way to finish for Ram. A birdie at the last. It's a round of 70. And a share of second place here at Hoylake. 